Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, honored dignitaries, learned sheikhs, sisters and brothers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa It is indeed a great pleasure to be here to this year's Global Peace and Unity event. And thank you to Brother Muhammad Ali for inviting me uh, and my members of my administration. I know many of you have come here today from a long way. So I'd like to welcome you to the East End of London, one of the most socially and culturally diverse places anywhere in the country, indeed the world, I will say, and an area I'm very proud to call my home. The title of this year's event is Freedom for All. And today I would like to reflect on democratic engagement and the role that it plays in helping to make people better off, empowering them and making them more free. As the first directly elected mayor of Tower Hamlets and the first Muslim elected mayor in Europe, I, faced, I have faced some unique challenges. So, some of those have been specific to the area. The East End has massive inequality, ladies and gentlemen. With Canary Wharf, the second largest financial center of Europe in my borough, generating massive profits just a few hundreds away, a hundred yards away from some of the most deprived estates in the UK. But some of those challenges are faced by Muslims everywhere in Europe. In particular, there is a catch 22. If we do not engage in the democratic process, we are called separatists. Our loyalty is questioned. But if Muslims we do engage, we are subjected to accusations that we are subverting democracy. And I can confirm this from my own experience, that any Muslim trying to engage in politics will be subject to the worst kind of smears, innuendos, and dog whistle accusations not just from the far right or the neocons, but from supposedly mainstream politicians and indeed the media. This can be at times disheartening, but it should not stop us. It should not stop us. In fact, it should make us more determined to engage in the mainstream process and ensure that our voices are heard despite the many people who would silence and exclude us. Because the Muslims of Britain and Europe have a great deal to contribute, and we are here to stay. The values of solidarity, social justice, and collective action are strong in our communities. And as the world re rebuilds after a global recession and the policies of austerity strain, the very fabric of our society the, those values are more important now than they were ever before. There are some amongst us who believe we should not engage on principle. And I would strongly disagree with them, but I'm not here to dissuade them from doing so. I'm talking above all to those who want to engage, but feel that little can be achieved by doing so. I know that the events of the last 13 years have made many Muslims feel powerless. But the truth is that a huge amount can be done in your communities, even while Islamophobia and suspicion are rife. Our ability to influence Britain's national policies may not be as strong as we would like them to be, but at a local level, we have a huge amount of power to change our communities for the good, ladies and gentlemen. In the time that I've been the mayor of Tower Hamlets, we've built more homes than anywhere else in the country, and rehoused some 3,000 families from the overcrowded waiting list, and this is on record. We've helped a generation of young people stay in education by replacing the Education Maintenance Allowance asked by the government, and helped them to go to university despite increased tuition fees, with the mayor's higher education bursary of 1,500 pounds per child. We've used the London living wage to lift hundreds of workers out of poverty pay 
and we've introduced free school meals for infants, ensuring thousands of children get at least one hot, nutrition meal each day. And we've helped the elderly by absorbing government cuts and keeping home care free, the only home care free provider in the country. Those policies, ladies and gentlemen, are just a taste of what, of what we've done in our community with a budget of £1.2 billion. But they have this in common. They help our young people to, to aspire they protect the elderly and the vulnerable, and they give ordinary people the chances to overcome their background and circumstances. When we talk about freedom, I believe that the most fundamental freedom is to be free from inequality, free from indignity, free from the crushing, crushing cycles of deprivation, desperation and need that blight the lives of far too many people in this country and across the world. We can't change those overnight, but by getting involved in our communities, by engaging with our democratic institutions, and by entering politics and public lives ourselves, we can help to shape a society that is much more free and more fairer. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.